You'll need one cup of chopped bell pepper, one cup of chopped red onion, one cup of chopped mushroom, one cup of chopped apple, and one cup of quick oat oatmeal. Hello everybody on YouTube or Facebook. Welcome to Country Boy Cooking again with Marshall. So glad you're all tuning in today. I got you one I've had a ton, a ton, a ton of requests for. Mama's meatloaf she always made. But y'all, it's going to have a little twist to it. A couple little ingredients I've always added myself that Mama didn't. But I'll let you know what's optional. Y'all stay tuned. This stuff is so, so easy and so good. Come on in. Let me show you what I got right here. Y'all, this recipe could not be no more simpler. I've already showed you all my vegetables and stuff, even the apple and stuff that I'm putting in with the oatmeal. But look, what I've got right here in the bowl, see that? This right here is 93.7 ground beef. I'm chopping it up real good with one of these. Have y'all got one of them? If you ain't, you need to add it to your kitchen utensils. I don't even know what the name of it is. Y'all comment, uh, let me know what the name of this is. It was a gift to mama, but I've used it so many times. It separates this ground beef so easy. Now y'all watch how easy this is. Okay, got the ground beef chopped up good. Now I'm adding my cup of oats, one cup of oats. Oatmeal. Get that in there. Mix it up. You really want to incorporate these ingredients, y'all. Make sure it's all in there even. You don't want, you know, what I call blind spots in your meat when you got a lot of ingredients in it. This thing right here is killer for mixing, y'all. Y'all need to get your one. I'm not selling them. I'm not, but maybe one day I will. I certainly would definitely endorse it because it is a good utensil. You can pick it up, turn it over, do what you need to do. Okay, now we're going to add maybe about a quarter cup of ketchup. About a quarter cup, just put it down in there. That'd be perfect. Okay, we got about, mm, mine I always like to use a teaspoon. I like a tablespoon, about a tablespoon of mustard, no more. That's all you need. Mix that up a little bit. I've got a cookbook on meatloaves alone. And I guarantee you there's 20 different recipes. And I've tried two or three of them. They are, all are great. So it's really hard to mess this up. It's almost like a goulash in a loaf of meat. <laughs> but yeah, get that in there. All right, now I'm going in with one egg. Now this egg right here is going to help hold everything together. What mama always taught me. Now beat that egg up real good. Put that over there. Let's go back in. Mix that egg in. Get it all in there good, y'all. Okay, now I'm going with all my vegetables and my apple. Let's go in with that. My onions, my bell peppers, my apples, my mushrooms. Lord have mercy. We got a party going on here, y'all. Look at that. We got a party going on. Now we're going to mix this all very well. Get in there and mix it up. If it's easier on you, wash your hands and get your hands down in there. That's what mama always did. You know what? I'm gonna wash my hands right quick and I'm getting down into this. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna get my hands down into this, y'all. I'm gonna get one of them into it anyway. Mix that stuff up good. Mm, it already smells like meatloaf. We ain't got all the ingredients in yet. We still like the uh, salt and pepper. But I'm just getting all this in there. Good enough. Now I'm going to add about a teaspoon of salt. If you cook long enough like me, you, can, you know a teaspoon when you see it. You really ain't got to measure that out. Just like Mama did. Y'all remember her doing it in her hand? You put a teaspoon of pepper in this. I heard y'all about the grinders. Yeah, those things were real loud, so I cut them out this time. And also, last but not least, a good tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Y'all, I like lamb parings. Get in there again and mix it up. By the way, go ahead, when you start, uh, you know, notice I didn't show uh, cutting all my vegetables up because everybody knows how to cut vegetables up. And I've heard, I hear y'all's comments, and I hear you when you say, 
you know, don't waste our time showing us how to do that because we all know how to do that. And I know that. And so, no, I didn't this time. But yeah, we, we're getting it. We're going to get all this stuff together here. Just get in there and squeeze your hands together like this. Look what I'm doing. I'm squeezing that stuff together. There's no way that's not going to be perfectly mixed together. And y'all, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, uh, like I told you with the twist while ago, the apple and the mushrooms are optional in this. If you don't like mushrooms, don't put them in. It's not going to hurt it at all. I love mushrooms myself. And the apple, on my YouTube channel that you're watching on right now, if you scroll down, probably, I don't know how many videos, you'll find Mama's video making this same recipe. And she said in the recipe that if she ever makes this meatloaf again, she's going to add a cup of finely chopped apples. And that's what I did to this. So Mama, this is for you. I know you're watching from heaven. I hope I do you proud. Just mix this around, y'all, a minute or two. That's ready. Look at that. That's ready to go into the pan. And like I say, have your oven preheated to 350 before you even start cutting your vegetables. That way, everything will be ready. Okay, y'all, here is my meatloaf loaf. It's about a 9 by 5 right in there. Look. The only reason I'm spraying this with the cooking spray is because that's 93.7 lean meat. Now, if you had the 80-20, you know, you wouldn't have to do this. But the thing about this, when this thing cooks, probably around a 30-minute mark in the oven. It's going to cook for an hour, by the way, at 350. Around a 30-minute mark, you're going to get that thing out and pour that grease off. That's the reason I like to use a 93.7. All right, let's get this boy out in there. Go ahead and press it. Press it down in there, y'all. Get it real good and solid. You don't want no air pockets. Okay, get some more. This looks like it's going to be just enough for this pan. God, the beautiful colors. You know, you can use any color bell pepper for this, y'all. Uh, you can use green, red, yellow, orange, it don't matter. I used red today. Press that in well. Now get into all the corners real good. See the corners? Get into them corners. Get that stuff pressed in there good. Now y'all, even at 93.7 ground beef, um, I'm going to check this around 30 minutes in the oven just to see what it's doing, make sure I don't have to you know, pour off any grease because around the edges of this whole thing, that meatloaf, it'll start reducing and it'll leave space for you to get out, you know, with, of course, with oven mittens on and pour it out in some kind of container. Do not pour it down your sink. Never pour nothing down your sink, this grease. Y'all, this is ready for the oven. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. All those colors. Oh, it works so good, y'all. Now, look, I know I'll have comments and believe me, it's okay. A lot of people use breadcrumbs as their binder. Mama always used oatmeal. So if you've never used oatmeal, try this or do this recipe with your breadcrumbs. It'll work just as good. And like I say, the mushroom and the apple are optional in Mama's original recipe, but not in meatloaf in general, because like I said, I had a book that had 20 or more recipes for meatloaf. There's so many things that can go into it. Y'all, you can't go wrong. Just don't over salt nothing. Let's go to the oven with this. At 350 for one hour. I'm gonna check it in 30 minutes and see how the grease is going. Come on. Okay, everybody, my timer just went off on my meatloaf. It's been there for an hour. And look, I checked it around 30 minutes because this is 93 7 ground beef. There was not enough to even pour off. But look, if you used 80 20 ground beef, it's perfectly fine. But around 30 minutes, you want to drain it off. So look, I'm, what I'm going to do now is get regular ketchup. I'm going to drizzle it over the top. Y'all check this out. This right here is probably the last five minutes. I'll put, it, I'll put this back in for five minutes. Just put some ketchup over it. You know, if you don't use ketchup, put in the comments what you put on top of yours. Look at that. Now, I'm going to put this back in the oven for about five minutes. Let this ketchup get into that real good. We'll be right back. 
Hello everybody. Before I take a taste of this meatloaf here, I just want to thank all of you for your prayers. And it was a difficult time in our family because, man, my ma, I called her my ma, even though she was my wife for nearly 58 years, she was one good lady to the family. And she always told us, said always through life, give God the praise. Give Him first. And I want to I say something. You know, if Mama Joyce, she, she was a loving lady. She loved the Lord. And you know, it's what we're doing here that Sonny Boy's uh, doing, you know, it's it's all about the Lord to start with. You know, she said she wanted to be fishman of man. And, and, and folks, believe me, she was. And before she went, she would tell someone about the Lord. And, you know, I, I want to tell you this right here. She read the Bible several times from the beginning to the end and I and, and I had, have too, but the reason I mentioned that is if you hadn't read, never read the book of John, I asked you, open the book of John 17 chapter and it ain't but 25 verses. That's where our Lord is talking to the Father on our behalf. If that don't, if that don't get you, nothing will. But I miss, she was better known as Mama Joyce. I wish I had another 58 years with her. But I'm a, I'm a, uh, Stop talking right, right there to where I can taste this meatloaf right here. Mama Joyce always told me, he said, he said, if it don't taste right, let him know about it. Make sure that he, he does it right. And y'all daddy will, trust me. And I'm, I'm telling you, so, so far, and I ain't just saying this right here, he is, he is a very good cook. And I'm going to taste the meatloaf right now, and, and, and again, I want to thank all of y'all, all of you, for your cards, your prayers that you sent up for Mama, Mama Joyce. And I'm going to taste the food right now. Hey, it looks real good. It better be good because <laughs> I've, I've to, told him before, I said, hey, you ain't too big for my belt yet. <laughs> Folks, I'm telling you, I, I, I tell you this, if you was here tasting this, your thumb would be like that too. It is very, very good. Well, thank you, Daddy. Any final thoughts? Well, I just want to thank all of you again for thanking the Mama Joyce. And I'm, I'm telling you, a lot of these cards and things and these letters y'all sent, hey, it came from your heart. I could tell by reading them myself. And you know, they're loving people out there in the world. They sure are, Daddy. They are a lot of loving people. And I and I tell you what, we thank you from the bottom of our heart too. And we'll close right there and we're gonna sort of eat some of this here uh, Sonny Boy's cooking here. <laughs> and I think, it, I think it'll be a good and I know this meatloaf right here is really good. So, so long. I'll talk to you later, sir. Bye-bye.